unsaid is about the healing power of animals. And it's also about communication. And it's about the limitations that we place on ourselves about what we hear and what we understand. I first got the idea about unsaid soon after I married my wife. Uh, she's a veterinarian. And I moved into a household full of animals, of dogs and cats and pigs and horses. And she had a health scare. And I had to give some serious thought about what would happen to this household without her. And I realized at that point that I didn't have any kind of personal relationship with these animals. I lived with them, but I, I knew very little about them emotionally. I knew little about their needs. And I, I decided at that point uh, that I needed to establish a connection here, that they were worthy of establishing a connection. And so I spent time doing that and getting to understand them and, and getting to know them. And that was a, that was a profound, life-changing experience for me, getting to see them not as just mouths to feed or cares, but getting to see them as um, really individuals. But I didn't start really writing the story uh, until my oldest daughter was born uh, with a serious heart defect and we were waiting in the hospital to find out if she was gonna survive open heart surgery. And I write about what I fear, and so I needed to put down on paper all of the fears, the, the worries, the grief, the potential loss, so I could see it all out there. It was a healing process for me. No matter what happened, no matter how bad the day was, our animals were always there for us and always supportive when we came home. Knock on wood, my daughter is really doing wonderfully and as she's grown, she has developed this remarkable relationship with the animals that we live with. Unsaid is narrated by Helena, who's a, a veterinarian who is deceased at the time that the story uh, opens and because of this Helena has a, a, a panoramic view of, of everything that continues to go on without her and so all she can see is whether the impact that she's had on people while she was alive will allow them to give them the, the strength or the knowledge to do what they need to do now that she's not there. And the point that I just wanted to make in this book is that it's the one-on-one -on -one relationships that really are life-changing. If you can save one animal, if you can save one child, then you really can actually open up whole new worlds.